Time Lord here. Welcome to Time Lord TV, and I'm going to be showing you some basics of Adobe Lightroom. So, going to dive straight in. So, first of all, I have pre imported some um, images, and we click on the first one, and we're just going to do some basic adjustments here. First of all, so, first of all, the lighting conditions at this particular uh, image, uh, Olympia, Trade Fair, Toy Fair, Fluorescent, that will suit um, the lighting in this particular image. Next thing I do on all of them is I go down and I just go up to where is it there, Lens Correction, and I just click those two boxes there. Okay, and then what I uh, do with all the images shot on the same light conditions, click Control or Command, and I just sync them. And we're going to pull up this here, and I just go, okay, basic treatments, let's make it all the same. All these other here don't need, don't need that one, although I can keep it on, I suppose. Um, and the lens calibration. So then press Sync and you'll see in a minute there we go they start syncing and they are now all got the same settings uh, throughout them okay so let's click back on the first one and we're going to do some work on this close down lens calibration um, and let's first of all make it vertical there we go bang bob your uncle funny as your aunt and we have vertical up right now now three other similar photos i can click on the sync again it brings up this and click off the ones i don't want calibration synchronize bang they have all uh, gone the same now this area here is a bit overexposed what are we going to do about that okay so go back up to the top and some of the basics and let's take the highlights down first of all about there you can see that the white blown out is disappearing got the frames back in take the whites down a bit and you can see it's not as blown out we've got the line out of the frames and so on in the windows uh, these shadows and so on uh, need lifting down slightly to give a bit more on the blacks give a bit more definition to that black in the background there okay and then I like to fiddle around with these um, two settings here the clarity and the dehaze just play around with them you'll see what it is just sharpens it up and gives a slight definition to what's called the structure in an image okay we're going to click on those three similar photos again and we're going to click on the sync and the basics and synchronize bang we basically have all of those now are appearing and using the same settings basically okay so a bit more work let's close basic and let's go down to the effects now you can see on victorian photos you know the vignetting thing sometimes it's quite nice just to have a bit to draw the eye into the picture and move that there okay um, and then let's click those again sync them again and we've got the um, uh, effects and so on uh, lens creations don't need those and so on uh, but make sure we've got the vignetting uh, clicked take off the basics take off the treatment keep that one synchronize bang you saw all those others now similar they have a similar vignette um, applied to them and all the other settings are the same this is a process you go through you know changing all these images and so on let's go back to the first one um, quite like that one actually it's not bad um, so I press 5 and it set the rating 5 5 stars at the bottom okay now we move on to some others this individual photo is similar to those uh, lighting wise and so on uh, so I'm just going to press sync and we're going to sync all the basics again uh, in fact actually I'm going to do all of these uh, sometimes you do that because I've done quite a lot sometimes you can't remember but leave the crop angle and so on leave that one synchronized and all the images don't worry about those ones that look a bit too dark we're going to deal with those uh, in a minute we're going to concentrate um, on one of these this one the guy climbing up the ladder 
Okay, so first of all, what we want to do is do some basics um, here. So let's lift the exposure a bit, see what we're working with. Okay, and look at these shadows, they're too dark. So you remember the shadow, double click the shadow goes back to the center. Lift the shadows. Okay, that's quite nice there. Um, and then what we want to do is go on to the transform and take off the vertical and just let's rotate that one a bit round. It's more of an angle rather than, you know, distortion on the vertical with a wide angle. Gone on the ladder. We, but now we've got that, see the white space at the top? We're just going to move the scale up. Um, oh, but look, that corner of that, it's, it's not quite showing a gap there. That makes a whole difference to the picture. This is a detail you need to get used to when you're editing photos. Nice shot of the guy up the ladder. Um, so again, click on that, press 5. That's one we want to keep, 5 stars. Okay, so the others, they've been matched the same, but what we want to do is work on one of these pictures. Okay, so the shadows, double-click, double-click the highlights, back to normal, the middle, double-click the whites, double-click the blacks. See, they're all back to the middle now. Now, the jeans down here, and the whole picture, actually, uh, so let's lift the shadows a bit. Okay, that's quite nice. Um, exposure a bit there uh, not looking too bad now let's transform it see what we've got there let's switch that off okay we're back the vertical and levels you need to sometimes play around a bit uh, with them and the rotate and just get used to what they do they're really good for wide angle lenses like on this one making it all over but see this edge here that part of this stand is at an angle so let's just scale it to remove that angled bit move it across then and there we are okay so um he's though a bit dark uh, especially on the uh, jeans here uh so let's press the brush here um uh, this tool the brush um and these are really good we can get onto these another time and just chosen the brush and just painting it here and then this will individually, it's like a mask, um, we can adjust the settings here on just that bit that we've just um, painted. You can see that changing there. And brush some more in, brush some more in, brush some more in. You could change the mask and so on, the edges and softness and harshness and so on for different things. Okay, so let's move that. Yeah, that's not, uh, that's not too bad actually um shouldn't sound so surprised um and then what we can do as well is look, all the others are the same famously control or command on a mac click um and then this time we uh, want to click the mask here and everything else and that will now impose that mask that we've just done on the jeans onto the images now you can see that that doesn't look quite. There's a brush in the middle there, and you see that orange bit of the mask. So we click on the brush, just move it up, place it in the right position, do a bit more brushing on that inside there. Um, and you can see all the others. We can just do uh, click on the brush and move them into place like that on whichever ones you want and so on because he's moved slightly okay. And you could do all of that with masks as well. But that one's quite nice. Um, yeah, so close that, uh, first of all. You can't actually set ratings to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 without closing uh, those masks. So now we've got those three. Let's click on the stars here. And we're now going to just select just those five star ratings. We could do three and above, two and above, four and above, so on. If we want to get back, just click on uh, camera info there, and you'll get all the other images uh, back with you. Okay, so now we've got the three images. Control or Command click, and we're now going to export them. Export box comes up. We're going to choose um, where to put them on your hard drive, so in your normal storage, wherever for the sake of this. I'm just going to right click, uh, choose new, choose a folder, uh, call it tutorials. There we go. Um, yeah, and we just click on that. And now we'll go select folder, click, and it'll export to there. 
and you've got various uh, options here you can go sequence etc and so on and so forth I do custom name sequence you can choose a number there uh, but I'm starting from number one on this occasion um, call it whatever you want um, you can resize to fit longer edge shorter edge I always make sure 300 resolution uh, you could take out or leave the metadata it's entirely up to you um, of location so then we press export you can see at the top left there it's exporting the files there we go it's out uh, there it's exported them and that's it so thank you very much for watching just some basics on using adobe lightroom for batch processing <laughs> Thank you.